Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has filed a lawsuit against Longfin Corp., a company that saw its price jump more than 2,000% late last year after it announced the acquisition of a blockchain startup. The SEC alleged Friday that the company's CEO, Venkatamina Veli, and three other individuals were involved in stock sales made after Longfin's dizzying price increase last December that raked in millions in profits. According to statements, Longfin issued more than 2 million unregistered, restricted shares to Amru al Tahawi, as well as tens of thousands of restricted shares to Dor Babu Panamabi and Suresh Tamanidi, all of whom were named as defendants in a newly unsealed complaint. The SEC alleges that Amro Isildin, Andy, Altahawi, Dorababu Panamathi, and Suresh Tamanidi then illegally sold large blocks of their restricted Longfin shares to the public while the stock price was highly elevated. Through their sales, Altahawi, Panamathi, and Tamanidi collectively reaped more than $27 million in profits, the agency said. The agency also announced Friday that it had obtained a court order freezing the $27 million in stock proceeds. Longfin was one of a number of startups to see its stock fortunes rise after announcing a pivot to blockchain or cryptocurrency services. December, Longfin's stock price exceeded $70 at one point. As of today, that price is hovering around $28, according to market data published by Google. Shortly before the SEX announcement, Nasdaq announced that it was halting trading of Longfin's stock. The SEC's chairman, Jay Clayton, disclosed in January that the agency was scrutinizing such moves by public firms. The SEC is looking closely at the disclosures of public companies that shift their business models to capitalize on the perceived promise of distributed ledger technology and whether the disclosures comply with the securities laws, particularly in the case of an offering, Clayton remarked at the time. Mina Valley notably appeared on CNBC earlier this week to defend his firm, declaring that he wouldn't sell any of his shares for the next three years. He blamed short sellers for market moves that saw Longfin's price drop close to $8 on April 4. A CC emblem image via Shuttershock the leader in blockchain news, Coindesk is a media outlet that strives for the highest journalistic standards and abides by a strict set of editorial policies. Coindesk is an independent operating subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, which invests in cryptocurrencies and blockchain startups.